All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how I built my gantry. Um, as usual, I did not do a NASA level job. I just used. I had these boards in particular that I'm hauling out right now and cutting up. Those were what they used to brace the poles um, before the cement was poured in my pole barn. Uh, so they've been sitting alongside Daryl in the shop all winter. Um, they had a bunch of nails pounded through them and stuff. They're kind of junk. I think they're junk. My father-in-law thinks they're gold. But, um, I wanted this to be eight feet high, which was an arbitrary measurement on my part. I, in hindsight, wish it was a little bit higher. But, uh, that's what I did is I cut four of these to eight feet high. At the time, all I had was some giant nails. They are like galvanized and, again, left over from the pole barn build. So I just drove a couple of them in the boards to keep them together for the moment. Um, I went down later and got some screws. To size it to my truck, I went ahead and I just put the board up on my truck and eyeballed it and said, that looks good. That number wound up being 9 feet, but as I'll say again in a minute, um, 9 feet winds up being not quite wide enough to go around my trailer, so that was a slight oversight on my part. Whoopsie daisy. But yeah, I just, I again, cut two. These are 2x6s that were, I think my siding came in a box made out of 2x6s. So I had two 16-foot 2x6s uh, that I cut down. And then I took it over, nailed it to the 2x4, or 2x4s. Um, flipped it around. Hauled my other 2x6 up there. So you see I have a gap. Nailed that in. Uh, then I worked on bracing it up. So what's left over is a 7 feet section, by the way. Um, in order to put my braces on the 2x6s, I had to put these little scab pieces of wood so that my brace would be the same distance out. Um, then that piece of wood that I just set down was like something I used for a street number sign when I was having stuff delivered. Um, it hangs over. That's fine. I just go back and cut it off with a sawzall. Not a big deal. Um, pretty much ends. I, these were giant screws that I had. They were way too long. They were like five inches long, but they worked okay for going through everything. Um, so that pretty much brings us up to where I'm at today. So we'll cut the video here and I'll show you what I got. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw, I actually skipped a bunch, but gantry crane. Nothing on its square, nothing on its level, nothing on its perfect, and it'll all work just fine. Um, I, I built it 100% out of crap from that scrap pile. I just used construction screws. I actually didn't use any of these. Um, some of my larger nails that were left over from building the pole barn. And, I mean, I can give you dimensions, but I didn't take any. I just made it wider than my truck. Unfortunately, I didn't make it wider than my trailer. It's exactly the width of my fenders. So, I could probably get it around my trailer. But, uh, I just didn't. Well, no, I couldn't now that I put these 2 by 6s on the bottom. So, all this crap is where it was rubbing where I tried to put it around my trailer. So, you know, consider that. It is 9 feet wide. Um, those bottom boards are 7 feet because they're the same board and they were 16 footers. So, I cut it 9 feet wide to be wider than the truck. Like I said, I didn't consider the trailer, but that's okay. It's really... This is not... This is not like meant to be my forever gantry. Um, I don't even know that I need or want a gantry, but right now I want to get some of this garbage out of here because, you know, it looks like uh, Sanford and Sons. So, um, yeah, it's all scraps from the scrap pile. Obviously, you got to have a crossbar. So that's two two by sixes. Um, and then the sides are two two by fours put together because I don't have any four by fours. Um, and then two by six across the bottom. Brace, 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 brace. Bob's your uncle. Uh, I'll, I haven't really decided. I don't have a hoist at the moment. 
I might buy like an $80 winch um, and put it on the old wheel horse. I don't really know. Put it up here. Or I can get a chain fall. There's one on Marketplace right now for like 25 bucks. Um, I didn't build it a lot higher than, than the truck. But typically what people would do is drill a hole through here and put like a one inch piece of pipe with some caps so it can't fall out and hook their chain hoist to that, um, which is fine. I thought about adding wheels to it, which is why this is a little short. Also because those sideboards are, I added these boards to keep this board from curling up, you know, to stiffen it. Um, I left a little space at the end so I can put wheels on it if I want to, but I kind of don't want to. Um, we'll see, but I'd like to get that cab off. It's stripped now and maybe onto a cart um, and get this bed out of here because I've had like a hundred people stop and ask me, can they haul it in for scrap? And I'm like, no, I can haul it in for scrap. I can get the $42 worth of beer money myself. Um, but yeah space is tight around here i really would like to get my lean to up this summer so um i don't know we'll see but that's it that's the gantry uh you guys next time you guys see it it'll be lifting one of these three things either one of these cabs or this bed up um not much to it if you have any suggestions on a cab card i'm open to hear them i i don't know again what i really want to do there uh I would like to be able to go under there and, and clean that up and, you know, uh, get it nice and clean, throw some paint, some bed liner on it before I drop it on the frame. I'm not in any particular hurry to do this. I just kind of want to get some of this garbage out of here. So uh, I'm going to scoot this thing over here onto this bed so it's kind of out of the way. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.